Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. So today we are going to be announcing the giveaway winner. So, all right you guys, the first, um, first off I do want to say that the giveaway, it did end um, just because I have some people that are still trying to enter the giveaway. Um, but please be mindful that it is over. Um, but stay tuned just because there is going to be more giveaways. So if you guys are in nail tech and you guys want free nail decals or any other things, just because I do have a brand that I kind of work with um, and basically like they send me a lot of free stuff. So I am going to be giving away more. So stay tuned just because I have already a box of stuff together that I am going to be doing another giveaway for. But right now this giveaway is just for the nail decals. And let me go ahead and show you guys the winner. Mm. all right so the giveaway winner is heather m peterson thank you guys so much so you guys future giveaways they are going to be a little bit different so if um i'm thinking of different ways to do them so stay tuned just because i am going to keep it fun and yeah i do want everybody to know that there is going to be frequent giveaways on here um i'm going to try to do as many as i can but Please follow me on all social media platforms just because I will be doing them doing them throughout my different platforms, not just this one. So make sure to stay tuned and follow the rest of them so you guys could enter into the giveaways. Just because this giveaway, um, the cutoff date was last Saturday and I had a lot of people that they didn't really enter the giveaway. So sometimes if people, they're not interested in watching the videos and whatnot, um, basically I always still have giveaways and sometimes there's not really that many people that enter. So in this giveaway, um, I think I only had a total of like 10 people. So you guys, the chances of you guys winning is really high. So make sure to enter in the giveaways. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys hit that like button, it does really help with the YouTube algorithm and it helps my video get out there more. So please feel free to hit that like button and yeah, join the family. All right, you guys. All right, you guys, right here, you guys could see me just getting my swatches and comparing them to the decal. I really want it to match the decal really really close just because if there is a part that doesn't transfer um you don't really have to worry about it as much so i'm gonna i already for my tips i already prepped them and applied my builder gel um to make sure that they are nice and strong and then after i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color it's like a chocolatey kind of cocoa color from um tracy's nails sorry if you guys hear my son he's right here with me and so yeah <laughs> okay so i'm gonna go ahead and put that into the light for 120 seconds and then i'm gonna get this paper and it was only a dollar 79 for it and then i have these scissors from montage they are super super pretty these are ten dollars if you guys do need a discount code for montage nail supplies um i do have one it is lorena 10 l-o-r-e-n-a 10 and you guys are able to use that to save 10% on your order. And then right here, I'm just going over this one. I was thinking about doing this one like a French tip, but I did end up changing my mind because I couldn't find a perfect nude to go with it. Um, and then after, I'm going to go ahead and put that into the light for another 120 seconds. And then while that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of clean up my station a little bit and get the stuff that I need. And what I got right here is the Montage Transfer Gel. Um, this one and Gel XR are ones that I actually compared the other day. Let me know if you guys want to see a video on that and I'll kind of explain to you guys if there is any differences in them. And I'll be able to show you guys samples of how they, how they work. But I'm just going to go ahead and get the montage transfer foil gel and i'm gonna apply a very thin layer of it don't apply it too thick just because if it is thick then it won't cure right and then you'll find that the transfer tape it doesn't really stick to it as well especially because it needs more time to puddle but if you put it into the light for more time sometimes it makes it where it's not tacky enough for the transfer foil to adhere to it and nothing will come off the transfer foil i've had that happen in both experiences with gel xr and montage so um that's just something to keep in mind just it does stay on the packaging to 
only use it or put it in the light for 30 seconds. So make sure you're applying thin coats. And then I'm getting a tweezer and pushing this on. I like to push it um, down on the sides first instead of pushing the top down and like the bottom. Just because I find that more of your transfer, it's e easier to apply on there and you don't get as many wrinkles in it. And making sure you are applying a lot of pressure. And then you guys can kind of see once it starts to lift up a little bit, then um, it is ready. But I did feel like it needed to go into the light because some parts I did apply it too thick in this video. And that is why I'm telling you guys, you guys need to make sure you guys do thin coats. <laughs> but so I did end up applying it in the light for another 30 seconds. But I left the paper on there and you guys could see that it is starting to come off. And it came off really, really well. And um, I really wanted to make sure that it was sticking down. So I even kind of tapped it down with my nail as well. Or with my finger as well. And then this one, it did have a little bit that didn't come off. But I went ahead and just pressed down and then peeled it off. And came or got on there without an issue. And that is what the foil likes. It took it all, you guys. I love, 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 love this one. But again, let me know if you guys do want to see a comparison video of the Gel XR and this one. And then I'm going to get Tracy's Nails from the Colorland Gels. I'm getting this one. And you guys, look how pigmented this is. This is one coat. This stuff is so amazing. I love, love, love this. <laughs> Sorry, my son has hiccups, you guys. So you guys are going to hear him quite a bit. He is playing around right now. So, But, um... I'm just gonna apply the black, the black or the black color to all the rest of the nails, and making sure you guys are doing thin thin coats of the Tracy's nails as well. Um, to me, I like to work with a lot of product and then put it on there and then kind of gradually start to take it off as I go, just because I do feel like it gives more of a seamless application. Um, but that is what the packaging looked like. It looks super super cute. Um, all of her pig, uh, all of her gels are pretty pigmented. There are some that it does need a couple more coats, but I find that the black is crazy pigmented. I love the black in her collection, and even the white. The white is pretty bomb as well. All right, you guys, and I went ahead and got a cuticle pusher and then that black glitter. The glitter is a very fine glitter. I got that at the craft supply store. You guys could pretty much get that anywhere. And I'm getting my montage top coat. And I'm going to be applying a coat of that on the pinky finger um, nail. And I am going to be applying kind of a, not a crazy generous amount, but enough for it to adhere to it really, really well. And then I'm gonna be sprinkling it on top. I like to do the color behind loose glitters like this, just because if any of the color, if any of the glitter rubs off, which usually with nails, you shouldn't have a problem with it, especially if the this glitter is this fine. Um, I like to have like a generous amount just for it to actually go into it. And then I'm getting the matte top coat from Montage Nail Supply as well and applying a thin layer of that over the decals, making sure you are capping the edges just because if you don't cap the edges with that foil gel, the foil gel, it will end up peeling off and you guys do not want that. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply it to all the rest of the nails. And also when you guys are doing the matte on the black ones, you guys really want to make sure that you are capping the edges and making sure you are going on the side walls of the nail. Just because if you guys don't end up doing that, you guys are going to end up having missing spots. And usually I find it's better to like be thorough the first time than having to add gel again. Just and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, let that sit in the light for 60 seconds. And I did want to show you guys my stones. You guys... Um, if you guys had watched my live, this was the new packaging that I had gotten. So then I'm able to organize my stuff. I did get two of these. The other one, it's not quite filled all the way yet. 
I pop the nails back into the light for the other 60 or the other 30 seconds. And then this is also the small ones. I did get these off of Amazon. These are super, super nice for those really small embellishments that you guys don't want to really keep in the wrappers and whatnot. Um, putting them in those, I feel like it helps so much. I love them. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and put it up at the top. I do feel like when I work with press on nails, I like to have it above what I'm working on. And then I'm getting my Zule glue and I am applying a very small amount of it. Um, just because I don't want it to seep out of underneath the nails just because you'll have a clear ring around the nails and it is not a good look and once you guys get used to gluing the stones down you will kind of like find your happy medium where you guys are able to like place them down without having a super crazy amount of glue seeping out and i've always done it this way i love the way it came it comes out doing it this way i usually use montage gel res or montage resin for this as well and then I'm going to go ahead and just apply the little stones on there. You guys can go around the stones if you guys are doing it on acrylic nails. Um, I find that it's easier, but sometimes you have to be very careful and make sure that you dry your, your resin before applying a top coat. Just because I had times where I didn't do that and I actually ended up messing up my brush. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate the rest of the nails and are just the thumb and then the middle finger. I did want to have embellishments on them. I didn't really want to do something too, too crazy just because I still wanted them simple and cute. I did end up getting a smaller um, little round for the sides of the stones on the thumb just because I felt like it was kind of a cuter look. And then I'm going to add one at the bottom. All right, you guys, I'm going to make sure I close those all up and then apply another one at the tip and making sure that I close everything after. I do feel like accidents do happen, so I do like to make sure that I am closing up all of my stones and stuff just because there's been times where I knocked them over and I wasted a ton. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the final look in just a second. I'm going to try these on for you. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye!